Hello. Hey. Travel but Okay, good morning everybody. I am using my DIY radio this morning. It's right in there, you see a little blue light. Yeah, that's all I see to see. <laughs> Who's here with me today? This weekend. There's some There's some who? Who's here with me? So today I'm only scanning 15 or 16 channels. Yesterday I tried to do this and I just had customer after customer walk in like three times and I just, I wasn't concentrated enough so I just stopped and it, it never saw. It never even saw an editing program. I just deleted it. So today we're only getting about 15 channels. Yesterday was a dark, rainy day. It was, it was great for radioception. Today's not too bad. It's pretty clear still. This is only like the second or third time that I've used this, this uh, radio since making it. But it still sounds great. I, I love it. It's clear as a bell. Yesterday, some of the stations that come in might have had a little static in them, but it still pulled it through. So that's the only static that you're hearing. Hear it right there. That's the only static that you're you're picking up. And 16 channels is is enough. I prefer the 20s, but there's no reason why this shouldn't be able to work. Um. I've got a guy that I found who CNC's wood and plastic. I sold my machines, so I found this guy and he's going to do some boxes for me. Um, some box tops he's going to engrave on the top of them for me and then, and then drill them so I can put screws and, and put the boxes together, put the parts inside, and then sell them. I think he's going to do them for... 10 or 15 bucks each, which isn't bad, I guess. I don't have to make them. So other than that, no investigations have been happening. It's, um, it's the end of the school year, so everybody's busy, you know, with their kids. We've had a couple other things. So I do want to talk about something that happened a few nights ago. And I'm probably going to pull up Matrix for that one just because I haven't used this enough to, to get a great connection with it. So any spirits that are here with me right now, will you follow me over to my app and talk to me? Was that a yes? I'm sure this will work. Hey, Lewis. Should we go with this one? Well, let's see what happens. Lewis, are you here? I thought I heard his name. That's good enough for me if I heard one of the guys that's working. Okay, so the other night I was sitting at my desk. It was about quarter to one, one o'clock maybe. And this light was bright in my living room and it was orange. It was orange like a caution light. And it blinked, but it was a long enough blink for me to look up. Shine. Long enough light for me to look up and see and say, holy shit, what's that orange light? And then it went off. I got up immediately because the dogs weren't barking. And I looked out the window and there was not a car on the street. And the way that the light shone was from my right to left to the TV and the wall. Straight ahead of me is the door and the two windows. And then I have two more windows on, on that side from right to left. So that light came in from the back window and across the room. 
I also went outside and the neighbors were not up, there was nobody out there, all their lights were off. So what was that orange light that was so bright? Can you tell me what that orange light was? Okay, and then I took a shower after, you know, it was almost like five minutes after that. I went upstairs, I took a shower. I got out of the shower and I felt like somebody was, was with me, was right behind me. And not thinking of anything in particular or, or who or what it might have been, I immediately sensed a great big presence, like a big muscular man with a sword. And I immediately thought Archangel Michael. And that was without really thinking, just that's just what came to me and that's what I immediately thought it was. Can you tell me anything about that? Okay, so I acknowledged it after thinking about it and I went to bed, I laid down and as I laid there, you know, another 30 seconds to a minute passed. I still sensed him in the room, but like he was at the end of the bed in the doorway, standing guard. I said, oh, you're still, you're still here. <laughs> you're standing guard, why? And that's what it felt like to me. Now, was that just something in my head that I made up, or was that something that had some substance that was reality? Because I just go with what I feel, what I sense, my first instinct, my first thought in my head, you know, and, and that's, that's all a connection is, you know. All a connection is, you know. And you learn to trust it, and the more you learn to trust it, the more you you see clearer, you, you, you get more clarity on stuff, and when you can get that confirmation from another psychic or through your box even, that's pretty freaking wild. So I don't share this stuff to maybe possibly embarrass myself or for someone to think, hey, he's kooky. These are the things that happen to me every day, <laughs> you know, and more than not, it ends up being right. So, what can you guys tell me about the orange light, the, the presence of a man with a sword the other night? Was it true? Okay, so... That's about all I've got for right now. Um, I still want to do a session with uh, Lewis and Jasper and talk a little bit about, you know, when they when they were alive, if they want to do that. I tried it to do it once, but I didn't get much out of it. I don't even know if they were here at that time, because they disappear on and off periodically. And right now, I don't think Jasper's around. He, he was around, but the past week I haven't heard him at all, and I've been hearing Lewis, so I think... I think they're both around at different times, and then sometimes they're around together. So it's good to know that one of them is usually always around. <laughs> is that how it goes, guys? Oh, one more thing. What can you tell me about the paintbrush that flew off my printer to the floor the other day? So, yes. Not yesterday, two days ago. Yes. No, not yesterday, two days ago. So let me get the camera. So let me get the camera and show you guys exactly what happened. So here on my printer, which I think I finally sold, I've got this paintbrush, and you can see it's it's in there. It's it's way back, and that's exactly where I put it back after it flew off the uh, 
off the printer case. I went to the bathroom and I heard a noise which I didn't know what was at the time, but it sounded like wood rolling around on the floor, like like a noise. I'm like, huh, what was that? I came out and that thing was on the floor a good three or four feet from the printer. I picked it back up and I put it on the on the printer right where it was. Who did that? Instead of case. Life new. This right here, this paintbrush, who threw my paintbrush? If so, I'll put it back. Will you do it for me again today? Will you throw this thing on the floor today for me? And I would really enjoy that. Update. All right, so I put it back in the same spot. Oh, thank you. Who's here with me? Can you light that up one more time? Who's here with me? Okay, this is the end of the session, though. I, I am I am shutting it down. I had to I had to fix the box again, you guys. The other day we tried to use it in, in Virgin. We were doing a session upstairs, and it was I don't know what was wrong with it. I, I think. Well, actually, I, I think I do know what was wrong with it. Inside these amps, they're very cheap. So when I get them, I take them apart, and I re-glue a couple things, meaning the heat sink on the side, I, I add some glue, and the RCA jacks. When it's together, it's pretty good, but after time, plugging in the RCA jacks, they get really loose, and there's only a thin piece of plastic that holds them together. So I put glue underneath them. And I didn't do that with this, so after time, even though I'm not back there messing around and unplugging things, those RCA jacks with the heat sink on the same side, I think it loosens the plastic and then it, it gets so the RCA jacks kind of just flop. So I put some glue on the front side of it to hold them. I think that's what happened because it's working good now, but this thing, this poor radio has been broken, taken apart, fixed, glued about three or four times, but, but it's mine. So. <laughs> I gotta keep fixing it until I can't fix it anymore. You know, it takes it takes some abuse. I should get a case for it. You know, but man, it does sound pretty damn good. So that's it, you guys. That's it. I'm gonna go for now. Thank you for talking to me. Goodbye. I might speed this up just a little bit, but I don't know yet. Okay, goodbye everybody.